everybody, Ricky to Handicapping. Thoroughbred racing on Saturday afternoon, May the 11th. This is my Equibase Winter Circle East Coast Racing Report. Let's go to beautiful Belmont Park first for their race 9 feature, 5.17 p.m. Eastern Post Time for the Peter Pan Stakes. Nine furlong route test on the dirt grade 2. Three-year-olds race for $200,000. Contenders number 10, Incognito. Number 5, Abraham. Number 11, Infinite Magic. And number 7, Saint Vigor. Few folks who enjoy a little thoroughbred racing history to accompany your handicapping efforts this afternoon. The Peter Pan Stakes, which is the final graded stakes here in New York for three year olds prior to the Belmont Stakes. It's named after the horse owned by Mr. James R. Keene and trained by James Rowe. Peter Pan won the 1907 Belmont Stakes was the leading three-year-old money winner with earnings of $86,790 that year. Here in the 56th renewal of the Stakes event, number 10 Incognito, a 5-1 to one shot, has hit the board in four straight with his last three efforts, including back-to-back -back wins in his last two outings, also qualifying his power runs. Number 5, Abraham, a Trackmaster Plus Power Pony qualifier, has hit the board in three of his four career starts to date, including a power run win to break his maiden in his third race back. Race 9 summary, number 10, Incognito, tops my contenders list today here at Belmont, which also includes number 5, Abraham, number 11, Infinite Magic, and number 7, St. Vigour. 10, 5, 11, 7, in the ninth from Belmont Park, the $200,000 Grade 2. Peter Pan Stakes. Go to Churchill Downs next for race 10. Their feature, 5.30 p.m. Eastern Post Time for the unbridled Sydney Stakes. Five for a long sprint on the grass. Phillies and mares, three years old and up. Race for $65,000. Contenders number four, Sweet Cassiopeia. Number nine, Palazzo Babe. Number eight, Formal Plan. And number one, Holiday Kitten. Number four, Sweet Cassiopeia, is both the overall speed and pace profile leader in the stakes field, sprinting at today's distance of five furlongs on the turf. has won five straight, including a quartet of power run wins embedded in this recent streak of racing consistency. Number nine, Palazzo Babe, a six to one shot, has hit the board in four straight with her last three, three efforts, including back to back circle trips in her second and third races back. Also, qualifying as power runs. Race 10 summary number four, Sweet Cassiopeia. Tops my contenders list here at Charleston, here at Churchill Downs, which also includes number nine, Palazzo Babe, number eight, Formal Plan, and number one, Holiday Kitten, four, nine, one, eight. In the tenth from Churchill Downs, the $65,000 unbridled Sydney Stakes. Bonus long shots. Let's go to Charlestown now. Race 4, the 10 to 1 bomb. Takes a class drop of 15 units. Nice overall speed for the 6.5 for a long sprint. Woodbine race course. Race 9, the 12 to 1 bomb. Number 2, Molinaro Fort Heel. Takes a slight class drop. Decent overall speed for this 6 for a long sprint. So from both Belmont Park and Churchill Downs on a Saturday afternoon, Rick Needham for the Equibase Winter Circle reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.